Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy and today we will be doing question 16 on the math CBA. Okay, let's get started. So first you're gonna have to read the question. That's the first thing you always have to do in a math problem. Jaina purchases five pounds of apples for a total cost of four dollars. Which graph has a line that represents the correct unit rate for the cost of the apples so first you will circle the first clue and the first clue is she pur he purchases a five pounds of apples and the second clue I circled was a total cost of four dollars so what I did next was underline line that represents the and I circled the correct unit rate so I know it's a unit rate now for the cost of the apples. So we're trying to find the cost of the apples. So by looking at the at the questions, I know that my pounds of apples will be my x axis. So on top of five pounds of apples, I wrote my x axis. And I see that my total cost is my y axis. So I will write y-axis connect to it so I look at f first so I see that the most and the y-axis they can go up to is 4 and for the x-axis is 7 according to the question I mean to the answer so I know that my 5 would be here because it would go from like 1 2 3 4 5. So my 5 would be here, so I go straight up. So this is where probably my 5 would be at. And my 4 would be right here. So I know that if they would have to reach each other, it would have to be like this. And it's not like that, so if it goes more up and if I need to reach the 5, the total cost would probably be like 12. So I know this one is wrong. Now I look at G. The total, the most you can go up to is five. So I know that my four would be right here, since four is my y-axis, the one that I need to, um, so I can even set with my x. And this one, the most you can go up to is six, so I know that my five would probably be right here. So I go up for the five, and I see that it's right there, and it's right on the line. So my four would probably be right here. So I go straight and it intersects with the line. So that would probably be a maybe. Maybe my answer, but I had to look at the other ones. So I go to H and on this one, I see that it doesn't, the line doesn't start at the zero. So so this was a little, this one was weird. So the most you can go up to is six, and for this one it's sixteen. Wow, that's a lot. So I know that if I go, it'd probably be like one, two, three, four. So my four would be right here. So I I draw my four, and that's where it starts off. So I know that the line's going up right here. So I, I know it's not going to reach with the 5 uh, touching the line. So I know this one for sure is wrong. Now for J. The most I can go up to for this one on the X axis is 7. And this one is 14. So I know that my 5 would be probably right there. So my 5 is going up. I draw a line going up. And this is a line. And my four would be right here. So on the line, it says, if the line was going like this, oops, then it would be my answer. But it's not intersecting on the line. It's probably intersecting on six. So I know that this is wrong because it doesn't want six 
pounds of apples for four dollars. It wants five pounds of apples for four dollars. So I know this one's wrong. And the best answer for my question number 16 would be this one. But anyways, guys, that has been the video. I hope you all enjoyed. This has been your boy. Face I did. Peace out, dude.